You guys may not know this, but I have flown some planes. I've, I've actually had about five different planes. I've got three right now with this the new SU-27, but I've got a crack yak and a little blue trainer plane, a little 1S plane, super easy to fly. But the SU-27 here actually has all kinds of like gyros and stuff like that on it. So hopefully it's an easy to fly, maybe even 3D style plane. I mean, and I think this is the one that shows, you know, like a year ago, the guy was like, you know, jamming it into the ground and like just kicking it. I think this is that same plane, so it should be tough. Now the radio is actually a very plain looking radio. Not much here, simple, but it's eight channels. And when you Bluetooth your phone to it through the app, Android or Apple, there's a lot of options. And I'm gonna show all that to you right here in this video and maybe take this thing for a flight and maybe not crash it. We'll find out, let's go. Okay, to start out with the plane itself, there's a little bit of assembly. You gotta put these on and they're really easy. Just kinda pop them in there, get them down in there, lock them in just like that. It has a little 2S battery, you got the charger, two batteries, all that stuff in there. So I've already got this one charged, it fits right in here. What I like about this is the battery can't shift this way. Obviously I'll tighten it down a little bit tighter, but there's all your electronics and everything. It actually has legit servos, not the little um, uh, linear servos in it. So it's got actual little micro sized servos, receiver, ESC, gyro, call, all, all kinds of stuff. So. Right here is where it flies, so it's kind of protected. So you can you can belly land this thing. Let me get this up a little bit. So you can belly land this thing, no problem. And almost kind of like a ducted fan, kind of 50-50, right? At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Okay, I want you guys to see right now. So it is 2S powered. Now, uh, look at the gyros. This is controlled right here by the three position switch. Off. A little bit of gyro, a little more gyro, and off. With me, I'm gonna be running a lot of gyro because I can't fly. Well, I think I can, but I, I do wanna show you guys some of this stuff right here. I mean, all your channels are everything. Uh, you got a little knob right here that you can slide back and forth. It has the mixes and all that stuff on it. Now, on a normal plane, this is your rudder. These don't change. So these are just simply fixed. So pretty much all you have here is your throttle for your speed and then you're gonna fly it right here. Pull back to go up, push forward to go down, right, left, and all that wonderful things. These right here are your trims. So pretty darn simple, really. Anyways, that's the general control of this plane as it comes out of the box. With the app opened up, let's connect it. We're looking for the radio link right here. All right. There's something I gotta do here, like a button. There you go. Now you can see where all the buttons are. Your throttle. Now, the negative is up at the top, the positive is at the bottom, which is a little odd but that's your throttle right here, ailerons, all that stuff right there. Now, obviously with it set up in this right here, I've got no throttle, which is actually a good thing, right? It's got that turned off. But you can see your, where your switch is, right here. Uh, you can see the knob right here on the left, channel eight. So you can get through all of that stuff right there. It's going to basic right here. All your channel reversing, sub trims, EPA left, right, fail safe. Yep, the fail safe is when you lose signal. So looking like we're at 50%, which will probably just gradually take it down. Delay, now we're looking at advance. Your dual rates, attitude, ele elevators, ele elevator, elevator, ele your elevon things. And your Vitali, whatever that is. I'm not sure about all this plane technology and terminology, but um, more mixes. Look at this. It's got four different mixes on it. So it's actually got a lot of stuff. Throttle curve, uh, system. Look at this, like button. You can set your buttons up for what you want them to do. Um, I'm not messing with any of that because I'm just going to mess it all up if I do. So 
Yeah, there's actually lots of stuff to it. And this, all this right here makes this unassuming, simple little controller actually pretty darn good. I want to point out that everything I just showed you is actually well explained in a full color paper manual. So everything is here. Uh, it's all here, guys. Everything. So you don't exactly have to, you know, scan the QR code to go online. Is there Are there online um, manuals? Of course there are. But at least you get everything right here with. Now, I just took this thing outside and I actually got the first flight in it. Um, I did have a few bad landings, but overall, uh, the flight actually did pretty good. Now, on my other planes, they have rudders. And it was kind of weird, you know, not being able to just hit this right here and actually make that thing spin. You got to do it all right here with throttle and all that. So it's a little bit different flight experience, at least from my limited flight experience. But it does fly, and I do I do need to do a little more trim on it. Um, it it'll climb pretty darn well, let me tell you. So, um, and yes, I had the gyrus turned all the way up. Luckily, I didn't stick it in a tree. Um, however, we're going to go ahead and take this thing outside, out to an open field, so I can really fly this thing and try to get some kind of uh, video. I don't know, maybe I'll stick a phone to my head or something, but regardless, let's get outside. Okay, so it's a little bit windy out here, but if we lose it, hopefully I can get it back. 4,000 kV motor, so now with a little test flight, I found out that you really got to stay on the throttle. So let's see here, into the wind. I got to bring this thing down. Come on, baby, come on, baby. There's no rudder on this, so. And I'm not making it turn. All right. <laughs> Without a rudder on this thing, it's kind of hard to make it come around. Try it again. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, let's see if we can bring this thing. Oh, I'm gonna end up in there. How did I not hit that? <laughs> oh my God. All right, one more flight. Uh, I do gotta tell you, this thing's a handful. <laughs> Did I lose you? Alright, so you really got to stay on the throttle with this thing because of the lack of a rudder. Getting a little bit better with it now. <laughs> as soon as you start getting out of whack with this thing though it's tough to recover doing okay right now though it does fly here we go i'm messing up now come on baby come on baby come on down come on down come on down all right i am getting a little bit better with it and I'm fine with that, we're good. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, so uh, now, if you guys know about 3D planes, I'm probably gonna crash this one. It has been a long time since I've flown this and probably a year and a half. Uh, man. Turn my gyros, or not, it doesn't have any gyros. Oh boy. I gotta get it up so I can try to recover it and not crash so bad.
I'm good. Okay, I gotta try it again. Oh boy. Oh baby, come on baby. All right, easy, 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 easy. Oh, I gotta get my rudders and stuff figured out. I'm not. Oh. All right, I gotta bring it back to me. I'm having a problem. All right. The problem is me. All right, I got it, I got it. <laughs> okay, now considering I haven't flown in like over a year, um, I still kind of prefer having a rudder. Um, driving or f driving, flying without a rudder is kind of interesting, but I, I, I can tell you this much, every time I let off the throttle, to try to glide it, there wasn't much of a glide, at least not at my level of flying. It did okay, so long as I was on the throttle, but, uh, and I had the gyro turned all the way up too, because uh, I kind of needed the help, you know, but um, regardless, uh, the plane flies, and I got a feeling if I spent some time with it, which hopefully I will, uh, more flight time, all that, I think I'll get pretty decent at it. Um, it's tough, I did land it into a tree, but uh, eh, we got it out, right? But hey, flight did good. Now, as far as the crack yak, dude, that's a scary plane to fly, at least for me. Um, there's no gyro. There's nothing on there to save you at all. So that was, well, I'm at my most nervous when I fly that plane because this probably been a year and a half since I've flown that. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. The plane is pretty decent. Um, it could use rudders. I mean, got the little slots there. I feel it can use rudders, but regardless, it's a great entry level plane. And if you happen to crash it, hit the tree low so you can pick it up and go again. Guys, check that description. Use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and you guys have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships. If you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.